Hey, I'm Nora. Hi, I'm Veronica. Hi, I'm Sam. I'm Sandra. And I'm Aaron. Let's, Let's do this! Do this. You give life, you are love, you bring light to the darkness, you give hope, you restore every heart that is broken. And great are Your breath in our lungs, so we pour out our praise. We pour out our praise. It's your breath in our lungs, so we pour out our praise to you only. You give. All the earth will shout your praise Our hearts will cry, these bones will sing Great oh. Shout
Walking in darkness Whose love is mighty And so much stronger The King of glory The King above all kings Who shakes the whole earth With holy thunder Who leaves us breathless In all who wander The King of glory The King above all kings This is amazing grace This is a veiling love That you would take my place That you would bear my cross You lay down your life That I would be set free done for me Who brings our chaos back into order Who makes the orphan a son and daughter The king of glory The king of glory Who rules the nations with truth and justice Shines like the sun in all of its brilliance The king of glory, the king above all kings yeah. This is amazing grace This is a veiling love That you would take my place That you would bear my cross Whether you're making slime at home or using your crayons to color, keep in mind DIY forgiveness. So today, we're gonna be making an envelope for our offering. All you're gonna need is three, no, two pieces of paper and tape. So if you do not have colored paper like I do, don't worry, you can always decorate it yourself. And make it special like you. So we have this paper folded now. We're gonna take our other sheet of paper, lay it flat, put this one right on top so they're connected, just like that. Now we're gonna take our tape. We're gonna need quite a bit of tape to hold our offering. So you're gonna take all the sides. This side, this side, and this side. What it looks like and go ahead and do that right now now that all of our sides are taped you can see this white part right here 
and our pocket is in here. You're just gonna fold it over first. And it's gonna look like this. We're gonna open it back up and then fold in the corners. like this and then we just fold it over once more and we have our beautiful envelopes now you can decorate it however you want get creative hey kids welcome back this month we have a new topic and that is diy forgiveness and the main idea is Forgiveness is up to you. Okay, grab your Bibles and let's join our friends. Hi, friends. Hi. Hi, Hi Sam. Hi. Hi, Nora. Hi, Hi Aaron. Hi, Hi Sandra. Hi. Hi, kids. Hi. Hi, kids. Okay, so we have a new series and the topic is DIY forgiveness. And the main idea is forgiveness is up to you. Let's all say it together. Forgiveness is up to you. So week one, the bottom line is forgive others because God forgives you. Now the first question, do you know what forgiveness is? Sam, is it when you are in a fight with someone and you hurt their feelings and they're really mad at you and so you apologize and say sorry and, and they let it go? Is that forgiveness? That's a great answer, Sam. Here, it's your Trinity book. Thank you. Do you have a hard time asking for forgiveness when you did something bad? Why or why not? Yes, because I'm embarrassed. Yes, that's a good answer, Nora. Here's your Trinity book. Thank you. You're welcome. Next question. Let's read Matthew 18, verse 21 through 35. Peter came to Jesus and asked, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother when he sins against me? Up to seven times? Jesus answered, I tell you, not seven times, but 77 times. Therefore, the kingdom of heaven is like a king who wanted to settle accounts with his servants. As he began the settlement, a man who owed him 10,000 talents was brought to him. Since he was not able to pay, the master ordered that he and his wife and his children all had, all that he had had to be sold to repay the debt. The servant fell on his knees before him. Be patient with me, he begged, and I will pay back everything. The servant's master took pity on him, canceled the debt, and let him go. But when that servant went out, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a hundred denarii. He grabbed him and began to choke him. Pay back what you owe me, he demanded. His fellow servant fell to his knees and begged him, Be patient with me and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he went off and had the man thrown into prison until he could pay the debt. When the other servants saw what had happened, they were greatly distressed and went and told their master everything that had happened. Then the master called the servant in. You wicked servant, he said. I canceled all that debt of yours because you begged me to. Shouldn't you have had mercy on your fellow servant just as I had on you? In anger, his master turned him over to the jailer to be tortured until he should pay back all he owed. This is how my heavenly father will treat each of you unless you forgive your brother from your heart. Thanks for reading, Aaron. You're welcome. Now, let's start with number question number two. How did the king forgive his servant? Aaron? He said that he didn't have to pay back all the money that he owed him. So, do you remember a time when your mom, dad, brother, or sister forgave you for something you did? How did that make you feel? Sandra? So happy. All right. So question number three. How did the forgiven servant behave with the other servants? Sandra? He didn't treat them the same. Right, he didn't forgive him. Now, have you ever behaved that way? Yeah, sometimes that's how I behave. Yeah, sometimes it's really hard to forgive others. 
grown-ups, now it's your time to discuss the rest of the questions with your kids. See you next time.